you know in a very positive manner uh, after completion of my task now this task depends upon like every month i'm going to be treated good Hello everyone, in uh, previous videos we have discussed uh, the questions that were there in the chapter of learning for psychology optional. Um, you know, we discussed about the respective years questions. For example, I discussed in 2023 which question was there, 2024 and 2022 simultaneously each year we have discussed about it. Now today I'll be discussing about the questions that were there in 2012 and 2013. Uh, why 2012 and 2013 uh, both at the same time? Because uh, there were only one one question that came in the respective years. So there was no point making different videos for uh, them. So let's begin. Now, the first question, uh, which was present in uh, CSC 2013. And what was the question? So, the question was, describe different reinforcement schedules and indicate their effects on the strength of learning. Now, uh, this question is from uh, learning. As you can see, that means they have highlighted learning also and they have highlighted what reinforcement also. Right, so both of the things are there in the chapter learning. Now they are saying what? That uh, describe different reinforcement schedules. That means, firstly they are saying what? Reinforcement. And then they are saying what? Should stick dues. Now see, uh, reinforcement is what? Why uh, reinforcements have been brought in? Reinforcements have been brought in to increase or build certain kind of behavior. Fine. And schedules are what? That means uh, the time interval. Now understand the question is saying that reinforcement schedules, that means you have to, you know, bring in certain, it, it could be positive, it could be negative reinforcement techniques. Now you have to bring in those techniques at respective schedules, that means depending upon the time interval. For example, uh, it could be time interval also, it could be about amount also. Now, you can ask me that how time interval and how amount. For example, if you introduce something or, uh, you know, if you introduce certain kind of perk, you know, with a, interval, you know, with, with a fixed interval of time, for example, you know, every month or every week. So that will uh, count as time interval. It could be fixed also. It could be variable also. Now, with respect to amount, again, it could be fixed also. It could be variable also. Now, how? So, uh, see, uh, if, uh, you know, an employer is introducing what perks with a respective interval of time, how is it going to happen? For example, every month. So, the time is going to be fixed. Yeah, every week. Now, when it's variable, it could be any time. That means, uh, you know, any time the employer feels like, for, for example, it could be second month, it could be like fifth month, it could be like no month. So again, variable, right? Now, when it comes to amount, amount I have always, uh, you know, I have also told about fixed amount and variable. For example, if I am able to complete five chapters, so every completion of five chapters, what is going to happen, I'm going to treat myself. So that way it's fixed. Uh, variable could be, for example, uh, you know, if I'm able to complete uh, one chapter, so I feel good. So I am giving myself, uh, you know, a positive reinforcement for that matter to, you know, uh, to encourage myself. So that way variable, that means not defined. Now the point is that if you have understood what the question was demanding, the question was demanding that what 
are segdues and how the segdues could be divided. So I have divided it between time interval and amounts. You can also uh, think of anything else if you feel better. I felt this one is better. Now after uh, introducing all this, they say that indicate their effects on the strength of learning. So this is what I told you. That means uh, what would be the effect of the what would be the effect on the learning? For example, you know if I know that I'm going to be treated. Um, you know, in a very positive manner uh, after completion of my task. Now, this task depends upon like every month I'm going to be treated good. So depending upon the time, I will learn it more effectively. So it could be, you know, very effective with respect to, it could be very effective with respect to education. It could be uh, very effective with respect to training. It could be very effective with respect to work motivation. It could be very effective if you, uh, you know, want to uh, make uh, animals trained for that reason, for anything. So animal training also. Um, these are something which, uh, you know, I feel effective. You can uh, bring in, uh, you know, various aspects depending upon uh, your ambit of thinking. But this is how you have to, uh, you know, go ahead with the question that came in 2030, right? Now moving on to the next question. The next question says with suitable example, critically evaluate both primary and secondary reinforcements, fine, and bring out their role in establishing conditioning fine now they said what you have to bring examples that means that's what i have always said right from the first video up till now again i am saying this that they are not interested in the theoretical part whatever you are reading in book because uh, uh, that, that is probably read by everyone you also me also now they are asking you the application but they are asking you the examples part because they want to understand whether you have uh, understood uh, the psychology behind it or not because if you're not able to apply it uh, then your uh, knowledge is redundant because it doesn't make sense to neither to them neither to you as well right so now let's begin uh, they say that um, critically evaluate both primary and secondary reinforcements now uh, how you're going to approach this question is that first you should know what is uh, primary and secondary reinforcements. Now, the entire question can be dealt if you just know what is primary reinforcement and secondary reinforcement. In case if you have no understanding about primary reinforcement, secondary reinforcement, the question um, is not going to be very articulate to you because you can't, uh, you know, go ahead with the question. Now, primary reinforcement is what that is going to bring direct the change. And secondary reinforcements are what? They are going to be secondary. Secondary that means not directly. So not direct influence. Fine. Now, um, how? See, direct change, for example, uh, you know, if I'm hungry, what is going to happen? Anyone can provide me food. If I'm thirsty, anyone can provide me water. Right. Um, if I uh, am not in a uh, good mood, so what is going to happen? I need a trip. So what is happening is that directly traveling can get me into good mood. So the, these are like uh, things which will bring direct effect on my uh, psychic. Now the secondary reinforcement is what? That these things are not going to bring, um, you know, direct uh, reinforcements. Well, direct things are not, uh, it's not going to influence your behavior directly, but uh, definitely um, their presence become very important in order to bring the primary enforcers in your life. Now how is this going to happen? See, they say that uh, money can't buy happiness. This They say that money can't buy happiness. So, <laughs> just understand the psyche behind it. Money can't buy happiness. Okay, fine. But money is going to buy everything that is going to make you happy. Now, what is that? For example, if you want a you know, um, good trip, where are you going to finance that trip? Money. 
Now, if you want uh, a good movie, where are you going to buy the tickets from? Money. Um, if you want to have a lunch in a restaurant. So all this is going to be happen through money. Now, what else? For example, other than this, if you are getting monthly hikes. You know, if someone has uh, appreciated you for your work, now what is going to happen is that this appreciation is going to work as a motivation for you for, uh, you know, perform better in your workplace. So it could be motivation. Okay. Then um, it could be, uh, you know, uh, appraisals. anything for that matter fine so once you have uh, understood what is uh, you know primary uh, reinforcers and then secondary reinforcers and uh, once you have uh, you know brought these factors here now the next thing they say um, now see, they said that you have to critically evaluate it. So this is what I say that uh, money say that, uh, you know, they say that money cannot buy happiness. But uh, now if I go with uh, evaluation purpose, fine enough, if money can't buy happiness, then uh, money can buy at least the things which make me happy. So that way you have to critically evaluate it that, um, you know, what are the goods and, uh, you know, bads of uh, primary reinforcements and what are the, you know, positive and um, negatives of uh, secondary reinforcements. Now, for that matter, I'll just give you an example. Now, see, in primary reinforcement, what is going to be the positive part? Instant result. So if instant result is there, what is going to be, uh, you know, what, what is going to happen? I'm going to get happy instantly. Um, then it is going to bring in satisfaction. It could uh, lead to what, um, you know, uh, what, what should I say? It could be a temporary, uh, no, I, I'll write that in negative portion. But uh, if this is bringing satisfaction, if this is bringing instant result, what is happening is that uh, it can satisfy my needs. So my needs, my wants. Are getting or are getting granted. Fine. Now, uh, other than this, uh, what else primary reinforcement is doing? Um, now, see what happens is with time, people become very impatient, right? So when they become impatient, they don't, um, you know, uh, do that kind of uh, work. Why? Because, uh, for example, you know, if uh, there's a child and you, you know the child is crying and you and the child is demanding you for um, you know uh, say for iphone so what is happening is that the parents are very, they're very well off and so what they did is that they provided the child with the iphone now what is going to happen is that the child has learned it that every time you know i'm going to do this kind of thing so they are going to provide me this anyways this is just not an example for this but i'm just telling you that what is going to happen the child is going to inculcate this thing in the conditioning and the behavior when first the behavior of the child will get influenced as in how because the child will learn what if i'm going to do this i'll get the you know result instant and the third thing that is going to happen is that the child is going to get conditioned for it so no matter how much you try to you know bring change in the child um, the child is not going to uh, you know understand this why because now the child has got conditioned so what is going to happen is that uh, there are chances that person might get impatient there are chances that uh, you know instant gratification has uh, led to what um, temporary temporary change that means temporary change temporary changes uh, no long term benefit is being served So this way, uh, 
we have to evaluate the secondary reinforcements also and i have provided you the example of a child so that way you can go for in in this case you can give the example of uh, the employer and employee relationship also because what is going to happen is that the employer is going to you know evaluate the work of employee and providing them uh, with the, that kind of uh, satisfaction which they want uh, for that matter if uh, you know the the appraisal they want what is going to happen is that uh, it might act as a factor of motivation so uh, that's probably the reason why people are working so you can write it over here and uh, now this will uh, you know develop a conditioning this will develop a condition as in what that means um, you know you keep doing your work you keep performing your work and uh, it uh, is going to bring the effective result the day it wants to right so this is how you have to attempt this question. This was there in 2012. So uh, we have attempted 2012-2013 question and one one question was from each. So next time when I'm coming, I'm coming from um, the different uh, chapter of psychology. Thank you so much.